Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 99 of XCOM 2. So, uh, we are... Oh, what is this? Why is there a... That was where we started, so why is that lighted up? That is like our uh, debarkation point, but it's now. We're not ready to debark yet. Uh, anyway, uh, so this is 99, and we are trying to determine where they are. So we looked at this area. That is this zone line, and we have not seen anybody there. Uh, do we want to come here? How about let's just come out here first. Order is confirmed. On the move. Looks like hostiles over here. What did what did he see? Oh. Ha. Two of them. Okay, uh So our cover will be blown. Reaper. Understood. Moving out. Does Reaper has the Phantom in it? No. Shadow Step, Implacable, Blade Master. No, he went the Blade Master route. So he, when uh, our cover is blown, uh, yeah, she will be exposed also. Uh, what is our sixty-nine percent? Not very good. Uh, hmm. Well, it's our percentage from this side. Oh, 97. And the other person? 80. Hmm. We can do this one, right? No, uh, let's get the viewpoint right, okay. Uh, the other person can she do this too yeah let's Security do this zone. too and then from here what we can do is dump a grenade can we reach her with a grenade No. Ah. Eighty percent. a codex and that's an elite trooper okay let's get the fun going oh only the best we're busted Dead also. Who's keeping score? I've got something over here. 
Okay. Huh. I guess we have to uh, let two turns pass by. Let's save this. So that when we go, when we go pick up the loot, uh, Let's get some support over here. Move, move, move. So when we go get the loot, we might actually trigger another. Here I come. Trigger another pod. Hopefully, we don't. So we're hearing a sectopod and a uh, the other one. What's the uh, okay? Okay, a sectopod and what's the other one? Uh, <laughs> can't remember. What's the uh the other one that's a hybrid of a uh let's do this repeater advanced expanded magazine advanced focus oh so here it is Wow, okay, we did not see anything, huh? We did not trigger anything. Okay, better save this and then so we can always reload it if we See, this thing, it has got to be covering something up here. Because I, the, the sound of the sectopod or the whatever the other guy is, sounds pretty heavy. So, we don't know where the next one is. Uh, I think it would be a good idea to just locate them and then uh, set up our people so that we're ready for it. No, he came from there. See, let's say if we come over here just to check it out. Running. Whoa. Good to go. I still don't see anything. Heading out. I still don't see anything. Yeah, that's very interesting. Good to go. Let's 
See, it is just behind that big uh, transport. It's just behind this transport. It's got to be just behind here. Huh. Okay, let's save this. No, let's save it to three. So that if we make any mistakes here, we can just, yeah. Each turn should be, so we will be, we can load backtrack maybe one turn ahead. Okay. Or are all our people? seeing them huh we are not seeing them tired of waiting around <laughs> I knew it Okay, now that we know where it is, uh, we should position see, she can't see anything. She can't see anything either. So they are not well positioned to take those shots. So that means we need to bring them down here. That's still a good long shot for them. Okay. Uh, that's what we will do. So oh, time to reload. Before. Yeah, before we trigger that pod, let's get our um, kill zone all set up again so that if they come towards us perfect we are we are set up so that we can kill them <laughs> uh, I knew that that big machine there was the one acting as a cover and we're hearing the uh, mechanized footsteps so they've got to be behind it uh, So one of the uh, Viper will not be uh, one of the Vipers I don't think will be within the kill zone but uh, hopefully at the end of the term it will be And also we need to concentrate our group so that we are in a, uh, the other four are supporting each other so that if uh, that hybrid being can, comes towards us, uh, we will have everybody blazing away. Uh, that thing is super, super well armed though so anyway this this might not be as flawless as the last mission but as long as we survive with minimal injuries and that should be fine now how do we position our troops so that we have good overlapping coverage at the same time uh, we leave one minimally exposed 
So they need to come down here. Yes, and she needs to be here. See, that one will prevent her from... Roger that. ...will cover... the visibility to the right will be problematic. Okay. We can have these guys over here. Uh. Move, move, move. So I think we came over here and that's when we saw that thing. Oh. Where is this other guy? Snake eyes. Oh, he is still undercover. He will be the guy. Okay, that's good. Uh, he will be our scout. Got it. Moving. Looks like something is moving, right? Oh, uh, okay, let's save this. seeing anything ah I think we we came all the way here orders confirmed moving out oh they have moved we don't see them Okay, we can afford to uh, take our time in a sense that uh, we, our... Our kill zone is still one... Uh, 
one turn away. Okay. Uh, let's not move them. Let's not move them. So what's this serial here? Uh, a powerful chain shot ability. For every kill made with your sniper rifle, your action will be refunded. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Uh, That's affirmative. What? Too early. So this guy couldn't see them, but this guy saw them. Okay, so they were over here. So this thing must have covered our okay time to reload <laughs> uh, and also we need another turn for our uh, kill zone to become ready so there was no point rushing it uh, and I think they just uh, go back and forth back and forth back and forth so huh I wonder what happens if we have the skills uh, kill zone laid out uh, without ourselves being exposed and then uh, during the enemy's turn they start moving okay time to find out what happens you know I, I, I trying to determine the mechanic so that we we put our skill uh, our kill zone down and then if during the enemy's turn they move will it trigger the kill zone if that's the case then it's better to do it at that time because after they trigger the kill zone then our snipers still have time to again hit them again right but if we establish the kill zone within our turn and then it gets triggered and the enemy moves against us huh uh then they will have effectively two turn they move against us and then at the end it's their turn again so they will so they have a reaction turn and then at the end of our turn, they move against us. And so that is less ideal. But if the, so I'm trying to see, I'm trying to think this through the mechanics. If we set up the kill zone, at the end of our turn, they move, then our snipers will have a chance to hit at all three. And that would be the end of the turn and i think it will also be part of their reaction turn okay so this is what we will do we will have greg berry who is still moving out Okay, so Greg Berry can see them. Right? Uh, and then... We dare not move. What we can do is we can... Have all our guys in Overwatch mode. Oh, our turn is not. Oh, we still have to. So we can't do anything at this point in time because we don't have the kill zone up. Uh, oh, 
How far away is it? Wow, that's pretty far. Okay, let's just move a step forward. Finally. Move a step forward. On my way. And then end the turn. And let's see what happens at the end of the turn. Ooh, nice. Wow, okay. So if we move... This guy over here, he should still be able to see them. But then he will be busted, right? Let's go back to... Anyway, uh, our timer went off, so let me cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.